It's kind of a, it, it's a, it's a recurring theme that we disintermediate things at IndieBio. Our teams come in to disintermediate animals for the growing demand for animal-free food produce. And they also disintermediate endangered species, such as rhino horn and the agarwood tree. I'd like to call to stage Stephen, CEO of Sothic Bioscience, who are doing something a little bit more critical, because within five years, it mightn't be safe to practice medicine without firm action. Stephen? Life, it's precious, but our health is extremely fragile. All of our modern medicines, all of our infrastructure, rests on the back of a substance called lal, which is extracted from the blood of a sea creature. Their blue blood which is removed from their bodies, the substance extracted, it is the foundation of all our security and safety in medicine. Without this, your next visit to the doctor could be your last, as contaminated drugs or contaminated equipment might mean your end. These creatures are the sole source. This is a federally mandated product for sterility testing and endotoxin status in the United States and for the US and global markets. There is no alternative to LAL today. We depend solely on these creatures. They have been around for millions, millions of years. Now, with our growing consumption of this rare natural resource, what were once teeming endless numbers of these creatures have been reduced dramatically. We have lost three quarters of their population in the past decade alone. We are facing peak crab. Now, what does this mean to us? Well. Circumventing the source means additional regulatory hurdles. So, our solution is Limulex, a biosynthetic LAL. Completely short circuit the process, take the crab out of the equation entirely. Limulex is a cost-effective, extremely high quality source. It will have lower interbatch variability than commercially available LAL as no animals are involved. There is no bleeding process. Now, these endotoxin testing products, in 2014 alone, the market was almost 500 million US dollars with a very high compound annual growth rate, 12.23%. That is projected to reach $850 million by 2019. However, the market is not going to be there if the raw material is not there to supply it. Hence, why we need this. Now, in addition, an endless supply of this Lysate LAL product means that we can supply currently underserved secondary markets, such as endotoxin removal, and burgeoning drug discovery processes. Additionally, the market is currently segmented. Right now, the top tier is occupied by a very small number of players. There are just five bleeding facilities in the United States. The second tier are those who use that LAL to produce the diagnostic kits and the medical devices themselves for use in pharma medtech. The players in this market, very small in number at the bleeding, at the actual processing kind of end. Now, we can produce this affordably and economically at scale. In the coming months, uh, end of 2015 going into 2016, 
we will be at the tens of litres scale for LAL. Through the summer of 2016, we will be expanding that to hundreds of litres. This is making a real impact. Then, as we transition into 2017, our production, and therefore our revenue, will expand significantly, as we will then have an essentially arbitrarily large production of thousands of litres. Now, the margins are quite significant, as you can see. What we are asking to support this endeavour is 600,000 US dollars, which we will invest in acquiring specialised talent to grow our team, specialised bioprocessing equipment to produce our LAL, and generate a tomorrow where both the crab and the human will survive. No extinction for either of us. Thank you.